so well uh, today we have an objective or this is our experiment number 5 measurement of star conductance by old switch so in the sequence of measurement with the help of maxwell higgs we were there and we talked about this ecg what is the ecg concept of the wheat stone bed so all were here and we talked about all them very briefly so here in this section today we have a target to study how this inductance can be measured so this is again a very simple concept based on a, again wheat stone bridge so the wheat stone process is again here so under this situation so again we are working to measure the inductance and let's see if suppose first of all we go for this one like what should be the diagram so objective determine the self inductance of an unknown coil so let's talk about the circuit diagram if you see in the circuit diagram we have some ac input we have first branch as a coil the coil has basically two attributes one is resistance and other one is a inductance second is here we have r2 and c2 it means a capacitor and a resistor is in series in third branch we have only resistance in the fourth one we have this capacitor so first of all if anybody asks what is a old switch we have to go for this bridge diagram so four branches inductor resistor capacitor resistor and only the capacitor so this is exactly the circuit diagram of old switch so this bridge is if you know go over there you would be able to find out that these are the unknown first of all l1 talking is this one so we have a target to understand to find out to read this particular what exactly the value of this one this is the unknown one okay and we have r2 we have r3 so r2 is taken as the variable non inductive r3 is taken as big non inductive resistance c2 variable standard capacitor c4 fixed standard capacitor so basically all these four are here for with respect to this old switch diagram that's the first thing so first of all i ask you all that whether it is clear or not so moving ahead if suppose we have this diagram and we talked about what are its branches ki branches kon kon se so let's move on so first of all we know that if you are looking to have a balanced condition so this balanced condition is depending upon same one we need to go for this branch ratios so the branch ratios are here and we are having all these branch ratios as same r1 j omega so if you see here it is written as omega o m e g a omega l1 so this is nothing but j omega l so r plus j x l1 into the second branch is what 1 upon j omega c so r1 and c4 if you go here this into this equals to this into this so these are basically combination one or you can say this divided by this and this divided by this whether you are going for the division or whether you are going for multiplication so multiply r1 and this one so this has become a impedance r1 plus j omega xl1 and this has impedance 1 upon j omega c4 1 upon j omega c this is the impedance we multiply them here simply we go for the second this and this this has r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 so if you see here this is 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon j omega c2 and here we have r3 so r3 multiplied by this impedance total so this is exactly the uh, equation we equating we are simplifying the equation on simplifying on equating so we are just having this sort of equation so equating by real and imaginary part so we would be able to get l1 equals to r2 r3 c4 and if we need to have the value of this r1 r1 equals to r3 c4 c2 the balance obtained by the variation of resistance r2 and so up uh, suppose you are looking to find out the value of this l1 then what you have to do you have to find out these three components r2 r3 and c4 so this is exactly the theory 
let's go on a procedure how we will go for this so let's first of all we apply a supply voltage from the signal generator with the arbitrary value of v equals to 3 volt some values we are providing here then we are making it a switch on on multi multi volt meter deflection so we have a here mv we are looking to get the deflection here choosing the value of r2 r3 c2 and c4 resistance and capacitance of vary the value r2 c2 by fixing the value of r3 c3 to some particular value to achieve null what we have a target we have a target to receive null value here so that's why we are changing what varying the value of r2 and c2 by fixing the value of r3 and c4 so r3 and c4 to be fixed and only changing r2 and c4 observe the millivolt meter point to achieve null or when you have the null note down all these readings and go for this formula you can easily find out the rest of the value it's a very simple now one of the good thing let's see see here so i hope so you might be able to understand coming on this simulator session so let's we are going to perform this simulator session so like as we were talking about this is all about the depending upon the value of circuit we have talked about we have just taken the procedure here and coming on this one let's see so this is your basically the bridge and this bridge has l1 r1 this is basically a known impedance here you have r3 here you have c4 here you have r2 c2 all these things are here here we have the switch which can be on and off when it is off it is on a null position so it is on null position when we are making it on it is showing 25 on this side so what is our target our target is to make it null and this can be possible so if you go here first of all we are applying a voltage so we apply the voltage then we are setting up an inductor value as any value we can select from it so if you go here so you have an option to set so first of all we need to switch off the circuit we switch off the circuit then we are setting the value so let's set this value from air code 45 mh to 450 so any value so we have chosen 45 mh one so first of all 3 volt is applied then we applying nothing but here some value of inductor we have chosen then switch on the supply we are making switch on this is the value comes up for air core experiment choose the value r2 c2 r3 and c4 from the control box directly put the value in the box or respective element so here r2 r3 r c2 c4 you have to choose these values like this in this way so that you would be able to get the null how you would be able to get the null you have to go for this see you are increasing this it is going So you have to choose such a value that by which you will be able to get in null. This is your target. So that's why they are saying if suppose you are using 45 mA for the air core. So for air core experiment, air air core it means the whole bridge is placed in air. है ना? Air में रखा हुआ, हवा में रखा हुआ bridge is there. So air is around or around. No air in it. So now they are saying air core for the control box given to directly put the values from the boxes or respective observe the millivolt meter pointer to achieve null or closest to null measure inductor value from the tap click the simulator observe calculate the value of unknown inductance and then let me see so this is exactly a very simple process so what they are saying so we have to choose the value of r2 c2 r3 and c4 we have to choose so we are choosing some sort of the value r2 c2 c3 or c4 so exactly we can choose like that so here range of c4 is 100 picofarad that you can use to 11.11 in steps of 100 range of r2 r3 is given 1 ohm to this amount of ohm okay so set inductor values of new way now we are the next second section will give you the measure here you will give you the value of the measure so first you set and then you can measure by getting the value so you have set 
a value. So we have checked that we have set the value of something. So we have set this value as 45 millihenries, and now we are going to measure this one. So measurement will go in the second stage. So process is clear. So what we are doing? We are making this switch on. Now we are going to adjust this R3, R2, C4, C2 to put the null. When we will be able to get the null, then only it will be working. So this is our target to go for the null. So you see here, right now it has minus one one nine three seven millivolt. So we have to make this null. So if I am increasing this, what is happening? If you see, it is get on increasing. We don't need to increase it. So if suppose we are changing this value, so we are having negative one. So if suppose I am increasing this one, this has become minus seven four nine. Now increasing more, it has again same value. Now no effect. Now I am changing this one. So minus seven six eight, minus seven eight one, minus seven eight eight. So this is the variation I am looking for. This has become positive, negative. Have to change more. Again, so it has directly shifted towards this value. So something is here which can be done. Changing this, creating is more negative, more negative. So what we have to do, we have to create the null position. So this is not well satisfied. So we are looking to get some sort of the value by which we can get the null here. So this is our target and this is our motive. So that can be simulator you can use. I'm just giving uh, this kind of a simulator even to your chat box. You can somewhere, but where you are working, whether you have a laptop or something like that. So you can choose up your values, you can change your values, and by changing your values, you can adjust all of this one. So, so we are managing it here. Minus 59, minus 47, minus 36, 20. See, this has become what? Minus ah uh, 0.14792. This is exactly we have changed the value of C2. Now, as further we are changing, this will become positive. So this is almost null we are receiving here by this experiment. And let's say if we try to change this one, is there any effect of this? So not at all. We are not having any effect of R2. So only because of this capacitor, it has a variation. So we are having this variation only because of this. Let's make it off and on. And Let's like check this one. So only with respect to this value of uh, C2, we are the same because already it is balanced by the resistance. So this we has already done. So almost we got the value of 0.14. If you are looking to make it more precise, you can do something like that. Change a little value here, and you check whether it is increasing or decreasing. So it is 210413. So it means this R3 is helping us. So changing this value from the R3, we can easily reach up to zero zero zero. So this is a very fine and a precise aspect. So varying this one, varying this one, we can receive. So we have received up to point zero six one four four seven. So we have received point four seven, increasing more. Point zero one one. So it has become minus. If you see here, so something is here. That's what. So you, if you see point zero zero seven seven, so up to three decimal points, we have gotten this accuracy. So this accuracy has come. So now if we can say that our bridge is balanced, even that if somebody is looking, no, I want more precise value. Then can change the other values like varying the capacitor, C4 values is there. So that can variation is also possible. One can easily do for that, isn't it? So I must, I think you must be getting this on. So I'm now comes on a point of measurement process. So let's see if suppose we have this one. This is the value in here. If you can find out the values of inductor, what is the inductor value? You have to go for the calculation of this one. Put rest of the values and substitute your values. You can easily get. So you put the value of 45 millihenry. You see here, this is the value of 45 millihenry is here. Now what is the value of C2? What is the value of C4? And what is the value of R3? Use the formula what I have told to you previously. Use the same formula, and with the help of this formula, 
exactly that we have here. So if you go for the theory part, and you see here we have this formula for L1 equals to R2, R3, C4. We have all these three component with us. Use this one and get the value of L1. And check whether this calculated value or the value which we appears here 45 mini Henry we adjusted is the same or not. So almost it comes a very close to each other. Just only because of this small point 00765 difference, it might slightly be different. Otherwise, this is okay. So this is basically our experiment. Our, under this experiment, we are able to conclude that this force which is helping us to find out unknown impedance or unknown inductance. This is our objective and we achieved this objective very nicely. So I hope so. You all might be really able to understand through this process, through this simulation process, that how we are 